Today we're going to be checking out one of the latest cars that were added to driving simulator called the Austin R52 with a price tag of 2,850,000 credits. A stock Austin will reach speeds of 275 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds having handling 90% and brakes are 85. To fully upgrade this car, it will cost you another 2,408,750 credits. A fully upgraded Austin will reach speeds of 291 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 in 2.19 seconds, having handling 90% and brakes are 95. A fully upgraded Austin gained a speed of 60 miles per hour to its top speed, decreased 0.11 seconds in a 0 to 60 time, having no changes in handling and 10% increase in braking power. Downgrade time. <laughs> Top speed would boost a stock Austin will reach speeds up to 294 miles per hour. Back to upgrading. Oh, and I forgot to design the car. Oh well. Top speed would boost a fully upgraded Austin will reach speeds up to 311 miles per hour. In reverse, a stock Austin will drive 55 miles per hour. As for the fully. Huh? Bruh. Huh? As for the upgraded Austin, it will drive 58 miles per hour. On water, a stock Austin will drive 30 miles per hour. As for the fully upgraded one, it will drive 31. In my conclusion, I think this car is crazy good for its value. It's like the Roadster, which is OP, but it has a faster top speed to compete with the Bugatti in the Around the World race. After some stock runs, I got really good times, meaning the upgraded one will have no problem either. The car has good handling, good top speed, and good brakes. It's a game changer, so stop trying to grind for that Bugatti and just get this car instead. Oh, and here's a random good stunt that I totally did not fail on. 